LPFA is proud to once again support Louisiana's Principal and Teacher of the Year. I congratulate this year's winners and thank them for their outstanding work. It is extra special this year to recognize and thank not only our award winners, but every teacher, administrator, and school employee throughout the state. These individuals are working during this COVID-19 pandemic to provide our children with the education that they need and deserve. We owe a special debt of gratitude to each of you and thank you for your service to our children and to Louisiana. Welcome to Glasgow Middle School in East Baton Rouge Parish. We are thrilled to have the 2021 Louisiana State Teacher of the Year. So good morning, kids. Today we are going to be working on the stem of ancient Roman mosaics, okay, in our one Roman technology class. And what you can see here is an example of a Roman mosaic, all right? This is just one that I kind of started working on, and obviously this one's in paper, right? But did you know that in ancient Roman times, Real mosaics were made of tesserae. These are little tiny pieces of stone cut by a craftsman. And today uh, we are going to be working on learning how to cut that stone like an ancient Roman craftsman. Okay? So the tools I have to show you here today are a stone cutting hammer, okay? And we also have a stone cutting wedge, okay? And this little wedge is pretty sharp. And we're gonna put our stone rod on that wedge. And now we're gonna crack the stone. Notice that I'm not pulling my hammer all the way back here. I'm just gently tapping on it because the weight, the weight of the hammer actually cracks the stone quite easily, okay? So here we go, let's cut some more. As you can see, it cuts quite simply with just a little bit of pressure from the hammer. I can also get triangular pieces if I really want to, although those are a little bit harder to cut. Okay. And as you can imagine, the people who cut these stones were not the craftsmen who put the, um, the mosaic together, okay? These were just the stone craftsmen. Can you imagine what it have, would have been like to be a stone cutter all day long? Do you think that there might have been dust? <laughs> there was a lot of dust, okay? So this was not exactly the most healthy job for people in ancient times. However, it's good for us to understand how these things were put together from the ground up, okay? And that's what we're gonna be working on today. If you visit the ancient Mediterranean world, some of these mosaics, actually thousands of these mosaics, actually survive today. And you can go and see them either in their original locations or in mu museums, because mosaics were made of stone and they were very, very lasting. They were meant to be walked on in people's homes. And this is how people showed how um, extravagant they were with their homes and their decorations in their homes. This is a STEM-based class in which kids learn about the ancient world through experimental archaeology. There is no Latin required in this class because I want all types of learners to be able to learn about the ancient Roman world. So the Romans were STEM experts. Uh, the concept of aqueducts is a really popular one with my students, so we uh, do a whole unit on that. Even things like hairstyling, believe it or not, simple basic things that have a lot of STEM concepts in them, and the Romans were experts at them. A couple of years ago, we did a project on ancient Roman mosaics, and uh, to incorporate uh, some math concepts, we did um, a sundial and this is an analematic sundial. So we had to um, study concepts such as <laughs> uh, lots of weighing of stone, lots of counting, lots of multiplying, and believe it or not, uh, coordinates on a four point plane, all right? So um, 
x and y coordinates, for example. So yeah, my students in that class said that, that, that my class actually helped them on some parts of the leap. Students seem to really like this class. My first year teaching here, I had about uh, 35 students, and now we're up to 60 students. So it seems to be growing, and they really seem to like the hands-on things that we do. Miss Roy is a special teacher because of her passion. The passion that she has for teaching students and for her content area, it spills over into everything that she does and she makes Glasgow Middle a better place to be. How important is hands-on learning to your students? Uh, it, it's just such a good, fresh way to teach. They really enjoy doing things rather than just reading or, um, you know, studying. It, it just Doing something seems to make things more memorable for them. What advice do you have to teachers around Louisiana now that you're the 2021 Louisiana Teacher of the Year? Remember that this year is unprecedented. I know we hear that word a lot, but it's true. This year has stressed out students, parents, teachers in so many ways. And I always say this to my students. I'm going to give you as much leeway as possible, and I urge parents to do the same for their teachers and their children. Um, just try to remember that everybody's kind of stressed out, and they probably need a lot more love and leeway than you would normally give them. It's been one huge celebration, but it's also been a learning experience for all. Everyone, we all want to take Ms. Roy's class, so the fact that she is here with us all the time, it just makes us want to be in her classroom more, and she's so willing to help others uh, in their craft and in their different strategies that they utilize. So it's just been, everyone's going to step up their game even more because she's here with us. The stories that we read in my class are all about the city of Pompeii. And many of you may know that Pompeii was destroyed in 79 CE by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. So our class follows the family who was living in the town during that year. And spoiler alert, not all of the characters survive. So it really does allow for a very interactive experience reading and learning Latin. What is it about uh, learning and teaching Latin that uh, still survives to this day? Latin is a wonderful language that helps people to learn about the ancient Romans. Um, so much literature that we have from the ancient world is from a population of people that was very wealthy. So, um, you know, it's difficult to learn about all of the Romans just through literature which is why I also offer Roman technology and mythology to my students so that they can learn about all populations of the ancient world. I always try to put my students first. When I'm planning, I always try to think, what would they like to do? And what would be best for them to learn? Um, and the best methodology for them to learn. And that's why I try to include um, the hands-on learning. They really seem to enjoy it. It makes things more memorable and um, I would say that if you're, if you're trying to be a better teacher, trying to be um, a better learner even, putting those types of elements into your classes can be really helpful. Welcome to Parkway Elementary School. I've been the principal here for the last four years. Our school is uh, comprised of about 589 students. We have uh, some great teachers on staff. We opened our doors in 2016, this brand new facility here right off of the Fort Polk Military Base. Um, we're so excited each year to get a brand new set of students coming in and out. And with us being military affiliated, it's always a transient population. So new faces in the place each and every year. First of all, you got to love people. Um, and so that's what guides a lot of what, if not all of what we do. Our love for people is what uh, makes sure that the decisions that we make are, are decisions that will be for the betterment, not just of our students, but for our teacher and for our community. Tell about your interaction with the teachers and the parents here at the school. They are our stakeholders. And so, like I said earlier, the decisions that we make here are not only based on our students, but how we can best get that instruction both in the hands of our teachers in an effective way and also the instruction into the hands of our parents. What is your philosophy of being principal and what recommendations do you have for principals around Louisiana? 
Well, I think that we need to make sure that we are servant minded. I believe that all leaders should be servant minded and that we're willing to roll up our sleeves, get in there and do the work with our teachers. Uh, they need to see us and lead by example that we can get in there and provide instruction for our students as well. What role do the parents play in the operation of your school? We can't do it without them. Uh, we started off as Chile when we opened up these doors with a very small group of parent volunteers and we started a program, our NEST program, and that opened up uh, the way for a lot of our parents to come in and to support all the great work that goes in underneath this roof. What is the uh, involvement of the community in your school? We have a great working relationship with both those in the Leesville area, but also in our Fort Polk community. Great relationship with General Bo Frank and also Colonel, Colonel Roseberry. They're so supportive of what happens here at Parkway of making sure not only are we informed of the great events that happen at Fort Polk, but they're also familiar and lend a helping hand as what happens here at Parkway. What kind of progress have your students made in achievement over the years? We have had tremendous growth since we've opened the doors here. One of our biggest accomplishments is have some top gains. We moved from 10 to 10.1 additional points here at, at, uh, in just a short amount of time one year, and we had the most growth the last time that we took a test here in our district of 9.6 points of growth. What makes public education and public schools in Louisiana so special? Always. Education always comes back to the heart, um, the heart for what we do to make sure that it's not just about what happens under our roof, but for the betterment of our community. And that's where public schools really put that in, of putting that heart back into not just our students, but what they can do in the future and presently for our communities. What was your reaction when you were named Louisiana Principal of the Year? <laughs> Joyous excitement, to say the least. Nothing but screams and shouts from everyone that was around. But also it was exciting because um, I've been given an opportunity and a chance to be a voice for so many leaders and so many educators that are not always heard. And so it's, it's charged to me to use this platform to make sure that I am that voice and that I represent not only my district and our school, but this state well. What would you like uh, the people across the state to know and also the Louisiana legislature to know about the importance of supporting public education in Louisiana? With all that's going on, with all that our with all that our teachers are facing and our school leaders are facing, we just need your support. We need consistency, and we need to make sure that that line of communication, as far as listening to the folks that have boots on the ground, are also being heard. So that would be my big push of, of of our encouragement to say, make sure that you're touching bases with our parents, make sure that you're surveying our teachers, make sure you're listening to school leaders, so that we're making best decisions. LPFA is a public trust and the state of Louisiana is our beneficiary. We issue tax exempt and taxable bonds to finance projects throughout Louisiana. Since a group of individuals got together in 1974 to create us, we have issued over $27 billion of bonds. We are not part of the state of Louisiana and operate solely on self-generated revenue. Our mission is to further education, health care, economic development and job creation in Louisiana in order to make Louisiana a better place to work, live, and raise our families. The LPFA has two divisions, economic development and education. The education division is Louisiana Education Loan Authority, or LELA, and we have a new initiative called LELA Choice. LELA Choice is Louisiana's new nonprofit supplemental loan program. Um, it's here to fill the funding gaps once families pay for college through the traditional channels, through federal aid, through state aid, and they still need additional help. That's where Leela Choice comes in. We started working on the concept of Leela Choice several years ago. As higher education continues to rise, we realize that it's an enormous burden on families to continue to finance the cost or save for um, paying for college. It's for Louisiana students parents as well as graduate students. We offer low interest rates, we offer no upfront fees, we offer no capitalized interest. It's a better option for students to pay for college if they've explored all the traditional government um, channels like the state, federal financial aid, and federal financial aid options. Um, it's here to fill those funding gaps when you're trying to pay for college. Over the last few decades, the cost of higher education has tripled. Um, the outstanding student debt 
is over one, nearly $1.6 trillion and is expected to double by 2027. So thus we thought it was vital to create a program that would be more affordable to families if they needed to borrow um, and just didn't have enough funds to, to meet those costs and, and pay for those costs for college. Here's how it works. The first step is to complete the FAFSA, the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, and Leela has an outreach arm that provides services specifically to completing the FAFSA. We have a helpline that students and families can call in if they're having challenges in filling out the FAFSA. We also offer a FAFSA completion guide, which is a worksheet and it's a guide to help families along through this process, which can sometimes be challenging. It's like completing a tax return. Um, additionally, we offer options for scholarships uh, once the FAFSA is completed to help pay for college as well. Once the FAFSA is completed, um, the student or the family is considered for the free types of federal aid, which are the grants, then considered for federal loans. And if there's still an unmet need, that's where Leela Choice option may come in for families to consider for borrowing if they need additional funds to pay for college. We're very excited about offering Leela Choice in Louisiana. Um, most entities shy away from student loans, but we feel it's our responsibility to offer a good option for families to borrow. The average interest rate from commercial lenders sometimes is over 10%, so we feel very strongly that we can offer a better option to our families through Leela Choice. Some of the features of Leela Choice include low competitive interest rates, no upfront fees, all of our underwriting cr criteria is very transparent, we do not capitalize any interest where borrowers are paying interest on interest as with other lending programs. We offer in-state service. We encourage families to only borrow what they need and explore all the free types of monies first, but if you still have to borrow, Leela Choice can be a great option, In, especially when you compare it to other commercial lenders. It's a lower cost option. For more information about Leela Choice, you can go directly to our website at leelachoice.org or call us at 800-228-4755. On a different note, I wanted to let everyone know that during these difficult times with the COVID-19 pandemic and the destruction caused by Hurricane Laura, we are once again partnering with the governor and Louisiana Economic Development to provide assistance to small businesses throughout Louisiana. The governor and LED have established the LED Small Business Guarantee Program that facilitates loans of up to $100,000 to our vital small businesses. The repayment period is from one to five years and the interest rate will be not exceeding 3.5%. Additionally, there will be no payment due during the first six months and no interest will be charged during this initial six month period. Information about the LED Small Business Guarantee Program can be found at the website shown on the bottom of your screen. We are here to help and are committed to the survival of Louisiana's small businesses. The small businesses that have taken advantage of the program have been very grateful for the opportunity to have some type of flexibility with the loan process and working with their local banks to get the loan to help keep their small businesses afloat. Congratulations again to our Teacher and Principal of the Year. We are very proud of you.